The question is, how do I get to my private browsing in Google Chrome as I did in Microsoft Internet Explorer? In Microsoft Internet Explorer, as you probably remember, it's Control Shift P. Those three keys held down simultaneously uh, will give you private browsing. Now, just the thing to understand about private browsing is that it doesn't update your bookmarks. Uh, it doesn't update your uh, your browsing history. So you can kind of go to websites without being seen and sharing your information. Uh, so, But what you have to understand is that if you're going to do this at work on your job so that this way your boss doesn't know what websites you're visiting, like let's say Facebook is frowned upon to use while you're at work, uh, although you're going to do private browsing, they will still be able to track the websites that you're going to. So if Facebook or any other website is frowned upon, uh, don't think that going private browsing or as Google Chrome calls it, incognito, that it will go ahead and prevent your job from knowing that you've been on Facebook all day or on your Gmail account or wherever you happen to be um, that you don't want to be seen. So this is just a way so that your browsing history doesn't get recorded on your PC or cookies and whatnot. So again, it was Control Shift P on Internet Explorer. There's two ways to do it on Google Chrome. On Google, upper right hand button here you see, I call this your friend button. Let's look at the version that we're running. And we click on our friend button, slide down to about Google Chrome, and we'll see we're running version 27, and it's the latest Google Chrome is up to date. Now let's go ahead and open up a private browsing session, or as Google Chrome calls it, incognito. And we see here there's new incognito window. Now, here's something that I want to make sure that you know about a lot of people using Windows uh, Miss, is that over to the right is a shortcut key. Uh, that with these keystrokes it gives you that same thing without having to use drop down menus or whatnot. I call it mouseless windows. Uh, one day I'll do a video on that. So here we are, we'll click on that and now we have a new incognito window. Now you need to read this and it explains to you what incognito gives you and doesn't give you um, by using it. Okay, so let's um, let's get out of that and let's do the shortcut method. If you remember, when we click on our friend button and we see the new incognito window, that control shift and those three keys held down together will give you an incognito window without having to use the drop down menu. So let's do that right now. So I made a mental note, it's control shift and those are my three keys. I hit it simultaneously and it brings up the new incognito window. Now this is not to be confused with control N, if you saw control N, gives you just a brand new window. Control N gives me a new window. Or, more better, control T, as you saw, gives you a new tab. Control T. Now we've got a new tab for browsing. So have fun with that one.